Hello everybody, and today we are going to make a dimension floor plan of our house here, our Habitat for Humanity house. And in order to do that, we are going to go to our ground floor plan. And we are going to right click, and we are going to duplicate view. So we have it, we can rename this. Dimensioned floor plan. Okay. Um, there's a couple of things I'm gonna do in here. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hide and view all of these outlets and stuff that we have in here. So let's go to category. So it's like that. Um, these tags and names we can probably hide those as well. So we go edit type, uh, show label, click off. Same here. Just so we don't need to see it, so we don't clutter up everything. And we have it over here with the refrigerator. So let's just clean up everything. And finally, the water heater. You can leave it on the water heater, it's fine. All right, so now we have our floor plan here. Let's just clean move this in a little bit so it's not in the way all right so now we can go in and we can start placing dimensions uh the way we have to do this is you zoom in here we are going to place dimensions i'm going to start with one wall and we're going to have three dimensions we're going to have our outer dimensions here then we're going to dimension from here to our in any walls that are intersecting our exterior wall and then we do any windows and doors very similar to what we did with the shed so we go look at the crop region. Let's bring that in as well. Not super close at this point, but in close enough. Just so that when we have to drag it onto the page later, it's all good. Okay, so crop region, it's hidden. Um, and what we also wanna do is I'm gonna bring in a new sheet I'm going to, to use the 11 by 17 that we have. And let's just bring in that dimension floor plan. Let's look at the size. So I'm going to, let's crop that out some more. I think right around there should be good. Because we need to leave room for all of our dimensions. We may adjust the size of this as well. Just kind of want to get a, a good feel for everything, how it's going to lay out on the page. All right, and so let's take a look at that. So our view scale here is one eighth is one foot. Might be able to go up to three eighths. Let's just apply that. Yeah, that looks pretty good here. So it's gonna look like it's gonna be a little bit big. So let's drop it down. Just so that we don't have any issues later. Now yours may be a little bit different, but for the most part, it'll probably be uh, relatively similar. Yeah, and I think after we crop that, that should look good. So I'm using a quarter inch equals one foot on the scale, it should work out fine. All right, let's just delete this off. And now let's get to some dimensioning. Dimension floor plan. All right, we're gonna go to align dimensions. Let's go to uh, faces of the core. And initially, so when we zoom in, okay, so you notice that depending on where we are, we may not get it. So we have to come up a little bit and that's the face of the core. So now we're going to come out, zoom in onto this side. All right, and we're going to bring down the dimension. Then we're going to go from the same spot over to the center line of that wall. Over, bring that down. And then we can go in the center of the window, center of the window, door. 
that. We can bring this down. And then we can go from the center of here. Like that, because we intersect the exterior wall. Like that. So those are our dimensions. What we're then going to do is now some people will set this a, a perfect, like a, a set distance away from the building. I kind of just bring it in somewhat close and then even it up. And then as I bring these in, they're going to snap into position from each other. So that's one like that. And then I'm just going to kind of keep that going all the way around. So now I'm going to come to this side of the house. Aligned. Same thing with the zoom in. Got it. Now, I'm about to zoom in. There. Oh, forgot to add a dimension onto this one. Should come all the way across. Come on. And uh, we got the windows on this, the one window on this side. That's it. Like that. Hit escape a couple times. Take it. Bring it in. There we go. Then let's snap every other one into place. There we go. That's it. Now these dimensions, these are a little a little crazy. Um, we could probably adjust them so that it would be a little bit better, but I don't want to have to mess with anything inside the house. I'm not doing this to be super crazy. But we can fix them afterwards if that's an issue. Lined. And we're going to come to the top side now. And then to, for our windows. All right, going from the ex any wall that intersects exterior walls to intersecting exterior walls. And there we have those. Okay, remember, take them, drag it down, it should snap into a position. Oh, I'm going to hit back. I want to bring that other one down, make sure it's out of the way. Like that. And then finally, this last side right here. And I don't have any other intersecting exterior walls, so I can go right in. Like that. So that one seems like it's in a good spot. In. So that's dimensioned there like that. Now, occasionally we have other things, like I have this wall right here, right? That gets dimensioned in. So I can dimension from the exterior wall to here uh, to there. I can do a dimension like that. probably just go like that, but I'm just going to go to here as well. So it has it. So it's dimensioning to a wall like that. Um, and I also have the, the center of doors as well, which I really should include on that one. So let's delete that. Line. Oh, made a mistake. Didn't go to the center of the door. Actually, I'm gonna go from the center of the wall on that. There we go. Center. So we have the center of this wall. Like 
Yeah, let's get that like that. There we go. So that's there. Uh, then it's just a matter of looking around. So we have something like this one over here and all these doors. So we can go right from here. That's probably where they would measure from here. We can get that in there. That's, that one's up done up there, but I'm going to put it in just so it can be seen. Just like that one's in, but that door is not. Let's come to there. It's good. Uh, we probably could have even have gotten that one on there as well. But I'll just go from here. So I have a couple of extra dimensions in here. Probably aren't needed. But it's not too overkill, so it shouldn't be too bad. Same thing. Now we're going to go from here. That's already dimensioned. All right. And then looks like we just have this door going up on this side. And I'm gonna put these walls in, even though they're dimensioned on the outside, I think it's good to have them on the inside. I think it's just like a nice little check like that. So now when we go around, um, pretty much everything should be dimensioned. Doors on the interior, interior walls, exterior. Now that's pretty much as uh, a dimension drawing you're going to get. Uh, I probably have a couple extra dimensions in there, but I think overall it's still not too color cluttered or anything like that. Cancel. Save it. All right. And now when I go to my... Uh, a103. I'm going to rename this. Let's do uh, dimensioned floor plan. So we have it. Let's double click into that. We can bring in that dimension floor plan. All right, so it looks pretty good. Let's move it up a little bit. We'll try to situate it on there as best we can. That looks pretty good. I'll take it. Um, we can put it over. We could probably put our wall section on there. But what I'm going to do is I'll just create a new sheet. New sheet, same size. Uh, then the wall section we created in the earlier video. Let's see, section views right here. Let's drag that over. All right, so it would be fully labeled at that point. Uh, we could change the view size, could probably go up a little bit. Let's try a three eighths. There we go. And then what we'll do is on this, we can add a bunch of different other views of other things after it's labeled, but that's pretty much how you get it on there. That sheet, we can call it um, wall sections. There you go. And now uh, you have the wall section view that would be in there. Uh, the crop region, that looks all good, the section view. So I think that's uh, pretty nice. So we have our dimension floor plan right there, looking halfway decent. Our plumbing plan, electrical plan in there as well. Uh, like I said, mine's not fully complete, but it's pretty good. And that's pretty much about it at this point. There's nothing more on that. Uh, make sure you save everything. And once it's all saved, you can close out and you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Bye.